This is my intro song. It isn't very long. That's all. Go ahead. Go on, watch the video. Welcome back, everybody. Bienvenidos. Bienvenue. A Betty Q Nails. Welcome back. I hope everybody's doing fabulous. Today, as you can see, we're working on my left hand. Because... It's looking a little manish right now. We gotta do something with it, cause ew. Yeah. <laughs> Bad hand. Bat. So, today, we are going to be using, utilizing the Sugar Glitter Pink Almond 123 Go Soft Gel Extensions from Enel Couture. These are so cute, like, they're adorable. I love the color, the shape, everything. I'm bringing out my little dampen dish with my alcohols. My alcohols, not the brown liquor, not the brown liquor. This is rubbing alcohols, 91%. So today we are gonna be using McCart's Nail Extension Gel and Charisse. I think I went to school with her. Yeah, I think I went to school with her. So we are going to be doing the, look at the beautiful, look at that beautiful gel, the flex, the hollow. It is just so beautiful and perfect. I love it. And I got my girl Evie's Patty Gel brush, which is fabulous. She is wonderful. Long hair, pretty nails, if you don't know. So this side is for the scooping, and this side is for the placing and for the smoothing out. I'm sorry, that was not called Charisse. That was called Alette. E-L-L-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E. Alette. I still think I went to school with her. So today we're gonna be using the Femi Beauty, Femi Girl Method or the lazy girl method. Today we're calling it the lazy bear method because you know, Betty Q nails. Brandon, honey, Brandon, we got a brand. So today I'm gonna be going through picking out my sizes. You know, I pretty much know my sizes. I always, I don't know why I always still always have to go and start with the thumb at my zero just to make sure. Now I have used this before, <laughs> but I still do it. So I'm gonna go through and start picking my sizes and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so I got my sizes all picked out and laid, as you can see. So you know me, I gotta organize, I gotta put everything back, seal it up, cause I don't like losing anything. I hate misplacing things. So we're definitely going to be just putting stuff back where it belongs. So you see these beautiful tips here. They're gorgeous. I love them so much. Now I'm gonna be taking my e-file with my Pana 5-in-1 drill bit. And I'm just gonna use the very tip, just a tip, honey. I'm gonna use just a tip to just go in and dremel and buff up and rough up the inside of the surface and just the areas where you know i'm going to be applying product and where it's going to be affixed to my nail now since we're doing the femi beauty lazy girl or lazy bear method i gotta dremel and rough up the entire nail because I'm gonna be applying product to the entire nail. If you hear any little tap, tap, taps on hardwood floors, that's my dogs. Oh, Jesus. So as you can see, I'm just taking the very edge of that drill bit, going along and just a light rough up, just to take the shine away and create some grooves and rough up the inside so that hybrid gel um, can definitely, you know, hold on some. 
So, oh, I love this little brush. This brush is so cute, isn't it? Oh my God, it's like a rose, a flower, and it's so black. I love it. So I'm just going to go through, dust out any remnants of dust particles from the dremeling because any extra little bits and bobs that are left behind, you know, I'm, look, like I said, I'm not a nail tech DIYer here, but I feel if there's any dust and stuff in there that might affect application and adhesion. So, you know, that's what we do. So we got that done. So Mira, now I'm taking my glove. Now this is just me, you know, look, to be real, I usually do not use gloves when I do my nails. I have had no reactions, but you know, I just wanted to do, you know, be professional on this video and put on gloves and wear it, you know, specifically and the sides and stuff where I'm gonna be applying just in case I touch some of the poly gel. Uh, that color though, I'm so excited to show y'all. So I'm just gonna take my little brush. I'm just wetting it a little bit, getting it all hydrated because it's, I haven't used it in a while. I just usually, for the spatula side, I usually just like dip it real quick in the alcohol so it can just slide off easier. Look at the color, baby. Look at the shine, the glitter. Can you even? Like if I wasn't doing this right now, I'd throw this spatula across the room. I'm so mad at how beautiful so it is. So for y'all that don't know, the Lazy Girl Method or the Femi Beauty Method, takes um the gel x to another level um it basically you take the poly gel and you fill up the entire full cover gel tip and you basically fill up the entire thing and you smooth it out like you see me doing here and just gliding it down the nail to where i want it so the alcohol is for, you know, the slip solution just to help prevent the brush sticking. Um, I really like McCart's poly gel or hybrid gel, but um, it is rather sticky. So you're going to see me like, all right, Jesus, get out of my brush, you know, because like little pieces keep getting stuck. But, you know, it is what it is. Look at it is so pretty in combination with the pink y'all i can't even like no puedo no puedo honey socorro no puedo <laughs> ah, ay, look these gorilla hands always knocking something out the way now i gotta figure out where they go So yeah, I'm just gonna go through and basically repeat the same process. We're gonna take this hybrid gel, poly gel from McCart onto our spatula, and we are going to fill up our tips. Um, stay thinner near the cuticle area and just glide and fill up the entire nail tip. So we're just gonna take our slip solution, which is alcohol in this case, and just gonna pat, pat, pat. Pat and pull, pat and pull, pat and pull. I'll make sure to get all up on the side walls so nothing is missing. You wanna fill up that entire tip all the way to that gorgeous point. So I'll let this play out and I'll be back with y'all.
All right. So we're just finishing up on our thumb and I'm here trying to get everything out of the brush. And you know, these gorilla fingers, child. All right, put that lid back on. All right. Get my tried and true is my Model 1's Nail Prep Dehydrator. We're gonna apply this and slide that over. Slide it over to the left. Now we're gonna take the dehydrator to remove any oils, any excess moisture out of the nail bed. This will ensure more adhesion. So we're just gonna take that dehydrator over the natural nail and just swish, 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 and dehydrate the heck out of them nails. Just make them thirsty. Mm hmm Jizz. And then I usually go back and do a nice little second one because I like my nails thirsty before I put on my nails. Y'all, y'all sound y'all making it sound like Beyonce and him. All this tap 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 on hardwood floors, and tins across the board. Give me a face, 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 y'all. Alright, so we all right, that's dry. So now we're taking our young nails protein bond. So again, protein bond, same thing as primer. Um, this is a non-acid primer. So this is the double-sided sticky tape, if you will. This helps everything hold easier to your nail hold better to your nail and definitely since i started using this brands um of primer or in the way that young nails calls it the protein bond it really helps with the adhesion of products and i have had no lifting actually ever since i've started all of a sudden i was gonna say little to no but i haven't had any of my nails lift ever since i started using this so she work and i like her so i'm just gonna apply this to my, all my nails make sure not to miss any spots okay dry <laughs> dry dry all right, so now we got them dry. Now we're going to apply, okay? So we got the lamp. The lamp is going to be used for my final cure. So let me get this pinky and just apply it if I can at a 45 degree angle to try and get that excess gel to push up the um the inside of the nail uh as you can see i'm having a little bit of issue well you can't really see because my dumb behind got off the camera but there we go so look at it so i'm just gonna take the excess gel that squeezed out using my brush dipped in some alcohol and i'm just going to wipe it off it's as simple as that um Hello. Hello. Mother is doing a video. I need y'all to calm down. These dogs, I swear. So, uh, I'm taking the brush and I'm just smoothing out because, you know, obviously as you push up the gel and it's gonna be rising, it's gonna move all that gel that you had smoothed out before. So you're gonna go in and smooth everything out again, remove any excess that you do not want. Um, sometimes I'll do, you know, I'll fill up the entire nail on the inside where it'll be flat almost. Or sometimes I'll, you know, follow the curvature of the nail and, you know, just push the gel and in, into it and make like a little, like a little, uh, like a, a ravine or a little, you know, a little, and follow the natural C curve of it just to make sure, you know, it's nice and thin. Regardless of which way you do it, you are gonna get some great strength using this method. Um, you know, obviously one is just, it's really an aesthetic thing. So in this case, on these nails, on some of them, I pretty much did the fill up the complete thing. And then some I did, you know, follow the C curve, but yeah. Look, 
I'm doing this on myself. Ain't nobody else looking at this but me and whoever I decide to bless showing my nails to. <laughs> of course, my baby and all of you lovely people out there. I love and appreciate all y'all so much for visiting my channel, watching my videos, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Definitely building up this Betty Q Nails community. So, I have my little gooseneck lamp, which I use for flash curing. So, now that I got the nail all set up, cleaned around the edges, flattened out on the bottom how I like, I put it under the flashlight, under my goose neck lamp to flash cure. As you can see, just look, I mean, not, not even more than 10 seconds, just to get it where it's not gonna be moving around on my nail while I'm applying the other ones. So I'm just gonna go through this entire process and start applying the nails. Remember, go in at that 45 degree angle, close to the cuticle, but not at the cuticle. You definitely do not want any spillage on there because that stuff will cure onto your nails and child, this stuff is hard to get off your skin. So just don't even do it. All right, ring finger. She's on flash cure. All right, so just sit back and enjoy the music and watch me continue the same steps of applying the nail onto my nail bed at that 45 degree angle and cleaning up the edges with any excess spillage and then flash curing for about 10 seconds. Be back, y'all.
All right, so we are at our thumbnail finishing up. We're gonna flash cure her and get that nail nice and flash cured. It's so cool when you feel it because you can actually sometimes feel like it just attach itself to your nail. It's kind of cool. But just a quick flash tour as you can see. Look at it. Oh, the pink and everything. All right, flat, we're gonna full cure. Two minutes in the lamp. All right now. Oh, you can't tell me nothing. Them nails is on. The nails are on. The nails are on. Honey, the pink tip. That beautiful gel from a cart. Just shining through and adding extra hollow shimmer, which I am all about. I love it. They look so gorge. So I'm just gonna take my file. Just gonna clean up a little bit on any edges or any places that I feel are a little uneven. I'll be back. Change my mind, gonna do that over the, I can never remember what this thing is called. The nail, the, the dust collector, Jesus. I be wanting to call it the nail vacuum, but that don't really make sense. <laughs> the hell is a nail vacuum? But anyway, so I'm just gonna do this over my dust collector, just to crispen and sharpen up my edges. And actually, well, for the tips, these are very sharp. And believe me, I, I love me a sharp stiletto, but I ain't trying to kill myself or anybody. So I'm just gonna go through, file, you know, try to get a good shape going on these and round out a little bit the tips so I don't hurt myself or anybody that I love. <laughs> so let's just keep going, y'all. So that other file was not working for me. I grabbed my 8080 grit nail file, who's like the workhorse. She will get the job done, honey. So I'm going through with that 8080 grit, keeping it nice, getting them flat on the sides, make sure she flat on the bottom. That's the only time you want a flat bottom. Oh, yeah, I like, ooh, all right, Macum, me gusta, I said I like it like that, yeah, baby, all right, my loves, so now, oh, I love this part, it's so like refreshing and cooling 
going to take some alcohol on my little brush, on my manicure brush, go along and on the top and the bottom, brush off any excess dust, anything that might have gotten on these nails. It feels so good. It's like, a, it feels like a spa for your nails. Um, but yeah, so I'm going off the bottom and the top because there is a little sticky layer on that gel so underneath obviously um i had some and i just noticed that i think i have a little bit that i need to um seal in so we're gonna take this five in one drill bit across all of our cuticle areas and we're gonna do a nice little you know just a nice little dremel file it down near the cuticles for that flush look or as people say seal the cuticle but it definitely helps and makes everything look so much smoother streamlined gorgeous like you growing these like you growing these fabulous nails right out your body the fabulosity is just coming out of you darling yes so doing this also um, if you have any spillage that you were not able to get to, um, that somehow cured, you will do this at this point too. Remove any of that. But yeah, for the most part, this step, very important, but I love it. And it definitely helps you get a finished look. So yeah. Do y'all do anything different? I know I've heard people use acetone on a brush to seal or to make it look flush, but I don't know. I've never done it before and I don't want to mess up. Has, have y'all, have any, bleh, have any of y'all tried that? You know, the acetone on a brush to like just melt the, um, the cuticle area to make it look more flush. Maybe I'll try that one day, but until then, I like my drill. Jones, all right. So we are done with her. I'll put her away. We gonna put you know, spread all that dust into the thing so it can, you know, collect all its dust and do its job. That's oh, my favorite part again. <laughs> so now we're taking the alcohol again, and we are. You know, since I went in and did all that, now I'm gonna remove more of that dust. I usually like to go upwards and brush up into the cuticle as well as brushing down towards the free edge and also underneath. Because for me personally, I like applying a nice top coat underneath my nails, especially when they're long, because you want that shine to shine like a diamond in the sky. I too, I so alive. All my followers are beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Oh, I love y'all. Y'all are awesome. So as you can see, we got that little cleaned up, roughed up. Oh, they looking good. Just round. Okay, so we got that buffed up surface. So we're gonna take my Missity base coat. I got this off Timu. I love the bottles. They're like, to me, they're like stiletto bottles. So that instantly drew me in. You know, they look like stiletto nails. I love it. So I'm applying a base coat. So the base coat is going to fill in any minor scratches that you have on your nail it will smooth out that surface and it will give the next step that you're going to do something to hold on to you know it's like good hips oh look at that look how shiny it is with just the base coat it's so pretty look at that so i usually start about there i'll Fan out the brush and then push up, you know, just to get close to that cuticle area. And then 
fan it down and get as close as I can to the edges and just run that base coat all the way down the nail. It goes on very smooth. This is one of the very few base coats that I enjoy. My recent one that I just found, Long Hair Pretty Nails Patty Gel Base and Top Coat. They're fabulous. So I did the same thing on all of these. As you can see, they're all base coated. Look how shiny. Now we're going to the lamp. Two minutes. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a base coat. This is a base coat, never mind. I'm gonna do it for one minute. So, look at that. All cured, looking fabulous. Taking my McCart rhinestone glue. This stuff is great. I love the applicator tip. And here's my bling, y'all. Made on my bling. We're going to be using this bling. I'm so excited. It's so shiny and nice. I'm so excited. I love putting bling on. Ooh, gotta use my muscles on this. That thing's hard to open, child. All right, so you know, these go in range of sizes, left to right, usually. Left on, will have the larger stones to the smaller on the right. So I'm gonna do two accent nails with some stones. I'm gonna do my index and my ring finger. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take, so you see how that tip, look at that. It just comes out just a little, just enough. I'll put that amount on my nail and use while squeezing a little bit and just spreading the gel over your nail. I feel like this helps so well for the top coat to glide over and you don't see any bumps or lumps in the glue. I like it. And this stuff is great. It has great adhesion. I have not lost one stone while using this. And then, you know, capping or sealing the edges with some top coat. So let me get my little pickle. My little tool here. And I'm just gonna be like, boop, boop. I'm gonna boop a stone on there, make sure it's nice and even. And I'm gonna take, so I'm gonna go with the larger one in the middle and then, you know, I'm gonna cuticle cuff it. So take the next size down, put one of those on each side and then I'll take the next size down after that and then put that side on either side. Or that stone on either side, I'm sorry. These stones did not want to get picked up. Oh, it's so nice though, sitting there and just Placing your stones and making sure they're lined up all perfect and trying to get that ooh la la sensation. That ooh la la. Because when you flash these nails, you want them to what? Eat it, darling. You want them to go, ooh, oh, yes. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep applying these stones and I'll be back, lovelies.
right, so look, you see the progress happening there? You see what's going on? Do you see what's happening? So here I was like, hmm, I feel like I could do something else. So I was like, I'm sorry, let me, I gotta do the right tongue pop. Yeah, I was like, I need some bigger bling. So I got this bigger stone and I put her right on that finger and she is shining. She is bling, the bling is blinging. The bling is blinging. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just actually take little stones and go around that nice piece of bling that I put on there just to circle it up. And we'll see the finished product soon.
so we're just about finished up with this finger i did flash cure the first one now i'm doing it again with this one look at how gorgeous just doing a quick flash cure so nothing is slipping and sliding doing the cupid shuffle the electric slide before i get it into the lamp for the full 60. so i'll close this and the lamp here All right, so I did notice that I got a little spot where I'm missing a little, where I could use a little bit more bling. So I'm just taking the very edge of my little dotting tool and putting it exactly where I need it so I can just attach one stone where it needs to go just to complete the gorgeous crystal illusion that I'm trying to give you on this beautiful Friday. So I think we're all set. We got it. They looking good. I think they looking all right. So flash curing that little, nice little last section that I had. I mean, look at me trying to cover up that because I forgot to cover it before putting it near light. And just going to pop that back in the lamp for a minute. All right. Look at that. So now I got my Miss City super top coat. So they ha offer a top coat and a super top coat. This one um, supposedly gives a better shine, more durability. So we're gonna be using this. Again, love the bottles, love the lids. They're so cute and easy to hold. I love them. So we're just gonna, you know, fan out and push the product towards the cuticle, make sure we don't flood and glide that top coat all over your nail sidewall to sidewall, cuticle to free edge. Mm -hmm. Gotta put on that top coat. Look how shiny she looked. So now I'm gonna take my top coat on the bling fingers. And with those, I like to definitely go around the edges, push some top coat gel onto the stones so it can fill in any crevices. You know, even if it goes over the stone, personally for me, I don't feel like it dulls the shine of the stones. So anything, you know, to help this last longer. So you see, I'm going in, putting a little bit on there, making sure it steeps into any crevices, getting as close as I can, not missing any spots. And this will ensure optimal adhesion of those stones. If you have any larger stones, it will also help um, prevent any of these stones getting stuck in your hair. Because, you know, when you run your fingers through your hair, you know, you run the fingers. Um, you know, sometimes the stones, especially if they're larger, you know, these don't. But um, larger stones definitely could. So this helps a bit. Mind you, this is coming from a person who has little to no hair <laughs> on his head. <laughs> uh. But hey, I look out for my girls too. Ooh, I know I, anybody, anybody that got long hair. So we're just gonna do this with all the fingers and we'll be back. Let this play out.
All right, so we are all done with our top coat. Uh, where's the reveal, darling? Oh, yes. So we're taking our little, um, our wooden stick, the wooden stick, and we're just going to go around the edges. This formula of um, top coat is a little on the thin side. Can y'all stop top tip, tip, tipping on the hardwood floors, please? All right, so I'm taking the, the stick and I'm just going around the edges like I was saying. Can you... um, it's on the thin side, <laughs> this top coat. So sometimes while you're, you know, going ahead and trying to paint all your other nails, it might self-level into your side walls a bit. So I'll just go around and take that stick and just go around the edges clean up anything that I see to make the final cure fabulous. And here I am really making sure I get into them corners, into the cuticle area and clean up because I don't want that stuff curing on me. Mm-hmm. Two minutes, bam. So as you can see, the bottom is still a little dull, has some of those. It's just not fancy. It look nice, but it's not, it's not ooh la la. It's not giving. So we are gonna take our top coat, a thin layer, and we are going to apply it underneath our tips. As you can see, it brings out the shine, the hollow, the shimmer, the ooh la la. It brings it all out. Making sure it's a nice thin layer, trying to tilt my nails down so nothing floods back into underneath the nail. And just get that nice top coat layer on. I love this part because you definitely see everything and it's like, ooh. It's like, okay, okay. It's about damn time. In a minute, I'm gonna need a sentimental man or woman to pump me up. Feeling for see, walking in my Vanessa Yussies, trying to bring out the fat boot. Look at that. Whoo! The shine into the lamp. Two minutes. Make sure that is nice and cured. Look how different. Oh, that top coat brought out that shimmer, honey. It sure did. I'm feeling myself, feeling myself. All right, so we gotta take our oil, cuticle oil, honey. Very important step, never forget it. Two times a day, sometimes more for me because I like to make sure I keep them nice and tight and looking clean. And it also is the cherry on top of your manicure. You know, you want to get that nice photo finish. So we're going to apply a little bit of that cuticle oil onto each of our fingers, rub it in nicely. I like to go into the cuticle area. I even, you know, rub some underneath. Um, on my fingertips keep everything nice and hydrated looking nice and nourished mm -hmm. I'm just going in just really I'm going in child all right now I'm just doing everything look at that hold on focus focus Ooh, ooh, what y'all think? What y'all think, loves? I think these came out so cute. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much. I love y'all. Continue to share, like, watch, subscribe. I love y'all so much. 
Sending love and mwah, 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 mwah. kisses to everybody. Have a wonderful day and take care, lovelies. Thank mm-hmm. you.